Hello there, how are you? Video is starting. Am I live? Probably. Hello, how are we? It's the 31st of January. So I'm here to ask the Dry January crew what you're going to do. Are you digging deep and keep going? Did you get a taste of it? Have you enjoyed the sober joy? Or did you hate every minute? Did you even get through it? You know, I attempted dry January once back in the day. It was 2014. I got to day 19. And it was, I was on my knees. It was so hard because I was really looking at it the wrong way, right? So maybe you can relate. If you've been like biting your fist, right? And really just denying something that you really still desire, you're wasting your time, right? If you have the idea of alcohol as the answer to everything, the glue that's holding it all together, then maybe we need to have a chat because the way that I deal with this, the way that I look at this is completely different to that. Right, we're not going without. We're curious about what, what's out there instead. You know, we're challenging what we believe about alcohol. And instead of feeling like we're missing out, we're actually excited about how we're gonna spend our time and our energy and, and that motivation to do what we really wanna do, right? So, you know, many people spend more time planning the two week holiday than they do planning the next three or four years of their life. And so I'm just suggesting to you that when you decide whether you're gonna go back to drinking tomorrow, that you really, really dig deep and think about how this could impact all areas of your life. You know, the way that I deal with it, can I share with you my programme? because the Sober Goals program will take you right through from stuck like Susie to feeling rebalanced like Riley. But you've got to give yourself time. You've got to give yourself the gift of time and to understand the process, right? Because even if you're further down the line with this, it's still really nice to reflect back and recognize how far you've come. And also to look at your beliefs because your beliefs will have changed, right? And it's so helpful to do this, again, for all areas of your life. It's not a one-time journey. You can do it again and again and again on many different layers, right? So starting off like Susie, you're stuck, right? Maybe you don't recognize that the problems in your life are even connected to what you're drinking in your glass, okay? It's just a new idea, idea for you to think like, would it really change? the outcome at the end of my day. You know, would I be a different person would I, if I was turning up with more energy, more patience, you know, more clarity about who I am and what I want. So I'm hoping that if that's you and that might inspire you enough to start observing. Okay, so you start observing like Ollie. And this is a little bit like looking at somebody else wearing a dress that you admire and you're thinking, well, what will that look like on me? How will that impact my life? Right? How will that change for me? And so that's Ollie. And at this stage, you might have many limiting beliefs, believing that it's not possible for you, that things are different for you. So you could sit here for a long time until you convince yourself otherwise. Or the program will help you move forward and become bold like Bessie and decide that it's time to take action. Right? You deserve this too. You deserve to feel this good. Right? So you start being bold and just feeling that little bit more sense of pride in your, in your decision making and, and you're just more confident with your um, goal setting, right? You believe that now you've got help, you can do this and you can stay accountable towards your goals. And slowly, with all of that mindset work and, you know, believing in yourself, you become more like Elsie and you start engaging in sober life. So you start going to the parties and having difficult conversations with your friends. You know, you start questioning all of those beliefs as the cravings come because your cravings are the clue to what you believe about alcohol. 
that's what's going to help you to turn this around. And after time, and everyone's different, you know, everyone is different. This program is 10 weeks, but you have lifetime access to all of this material. Okay, you don't get kicked out after 10 weeks. So it's a case of taking your time, knowing that it's a no fail process. At any point, you might slip back. And it's about picking yourself up and recognizing what was it that held you back that time? What was it that you need to challenge and you need to look at so that you can, you know, really, really drill down what it is that you believe. And then you can slowly move forward. And in time, you'll start feeling rebalanced like Riley and you'll recognize that this is more than just, you know, something that you desire to drink. It's, it's actually impacting all of your life choices. And you start to think, you know, how would I want my future to be? And how do I make my step, the steps towards getting that? Because once you remove alcohol, everything seems possible. Anything seems possible. Okay, because remember it's a depressant. So if you're just starting to get through that and you're just starting to feel better, the idea of going back and starting drinking tomorrow because it's February, just really think before you make that decision because you're so close. You're so close to that deep quality sleep that I just wouldn't trade now. So think carefully before you decide what you're gonna to do tomorrow. And remember that this process is here. It's, a, it's the stages I went through. It's the chapters of my book. It's the, the modules of my program. And hopefully it's where I can walk you through so that you can see exactly what you need to move to the next stage, okay? So reach out if you have any questions. You can email me or send me a message um, at hello at thesoberholic.com. Thank you. Bye from me.